Hi there, this is Jonathan Ginsberg. I'd like to offer you some tips about how to improve your chances of winning uh, your Social Security Disability case. One thing you should definitely do is prepare for questions that you know you're going to get. This is really something that your lawyer should work with you on prior to your hearing. I do it with my clients usually a week or two. Uh, even three weeks before the hearing, we actually practice the questions. Usually I spend more time in the pre-hearing uh, meeting than the actual hearing last, but I want my client to be prepared. And there are certain things you're always going to be asked. For example, if it's a physical case where there's a physical problem, you're always going to be asked, how long can you sit at, a, at one time? How much total sitting can you do? How many, what, what kind of break do you take after you've sat for 15 minutes and you need to get up? How long do you have to move around for? Um, and again, how much total sitting can you do during the day? Uh, you'll be asked the same thing about standing. How much standing can you do? How much walking can you do? Um, how much lifting? And don't say not, you know, not very much. You want to say five pounds. I can lift maybe five pounds. A gallon of milk, is, which is eight pounds, by the way, is, is even eight pounds a gallon of milk is too heavy. Um, you want to know how much you can lift frequently, how much you can lift occasionally. Um, problems with activities of daily living, getting dressed. Um, bathing, preparing meals, taking care of personal needs, those questions are always going to come up. Um, what tasks do you, do you do around your house? Do you do laundry? Do you do vacuuming? That sort of thing. Um, judges are going to want to know that. Um, so prepare some answers for that with your lawyer. Um, you know, I always ask my client, uh, if I said to you, here is a simple entry level job where you're sitting at a table putting ink pens in a box and all you do all day long is stick ink pens in a box. You know, but you've got to do it eight hours a day, five days a week. Why could you not do it? And you want to have a you know, two or three sentence explanation. Um, you know, I've got se severe pain in my back due to herniated disc. That pain radiates into my leg. When the pain is at its worst, um, it's so severe I cannot concentrate or focus. Um, and that happens at least uh, three or four times a week. I immediately take pain medication, which just knocks me out, and I have to go to sleep. That's a concise explanation of why you uh, have a pain situation that you cannot uh, work with. So be prepared for those type of questions. And again, this is why you want to really make sure you sit down with your lawyer prior to the hearing and, and ask him or her, um, what are questions I'm likely to get with this judge? Um, so the more you know, the more you prepare, the better off you're going to be, and you don't find yourself thinking about these things at the hearing for the first time and kind of resorting to not very long or not very much, which doesn't really say anything. So uh, that's my thought about preparing uh, for questions you know you're going to get. If you do that, you greatly increase your, chan your chances at winning, especially if you work with your lawyer about uh, framing your answers in such a way uh, that will help your cause uh, greatly. Uh, again, my name is Jonathan Ginsberg. I hope this has been helpful, and until next time, I'll talk to you soon.